What's up guys? Today we're talking about Gabby Hanna because despite claiming that she wanted to stay out of drama and focus on her music, she went on a talk show to talk about drama and cancel culture as a whole. It's a mess, so let's get into it. So, we all know earlier this year, Gabby Hanna went on her yearly drama campaign and made us all feel like we were reliving the same drama over and over and over again. Every year around the summertime, Gabby Hanna likes to come out of the woodworks and start up the same old tired drama. But this year's performance was a little different from the rest. This time around, Gabby Hanna gave us an entire series dedicated to all her drama and all the people who, in her eyes, have done her wrong. Gabby's series was cut short and she never ended up posting all the episodes. A lot of people felt like Gabby got freaked out because huge creators were calling her out on her lies within the series and it just wasn't going the way I think she hoped. She was getting more backlash than support and overall it was just a huge mess and not to mention stressful for literally everyone involved. Gabby recently revealed during an interview that the reason she stopped doing the series was because it wasn't fulfilling her anymore so she just decided to stop. She made all her videos on YouTube private, she deleted all her tweets and all her Instagram pictures, and said from here on out she wanted to focus on her music. For the most part, Gabby has been keeping to herself and avoiding drama these past few months. She released a song which a lot of people actually liked, and for the most part, for now, she's been keeping to herself. Just a few days ago, Gabby tweeted, I have not felt like myself since 2017, and I finally feel like myself again. But it seemed like Gabby was about to break her drama-free streak back in October when she tweeted, Honored and excited to be a guest on the Red Table Talk, The Estefans, to talk about cancel culture. A lot of people were guessing that this episode would just be Gabby Hanna complaining about being canceled and not taking any kind of accountability for anything. And those people were kind of right. It took two months for this episode to finally drop, and I'm going to break down the entire thing for you guys. So, the episode aired on Facebook, and the entire thing was about cancel culture and the effect that it has on people. They brought on two guests, one being Gabby Hanna and the other being Perez Hilton. At first, I kind of thought the guest choice was a little bit strange, but I guess it makes sense. Perez was one of the first online gossip blogs and canceled celebrities before canceling was even really a thing. And then you have Gabby Hanna, who's definitely had her fair share of drama and cancellations. Perez was the first to be interviewed. They talked about how he treated celebrities back in the day and how it affected them. He talked about the change of heart he had with his approach to online gossip, and they even touched on his TikTok ban. Perez was banned from TikTok for talking about Charlie D'Amelio last year, and he still remains banned to this day. Perez definitely had a bit of a hard time on the show. He was being called out left and right for his past mistakes and his past content, and they really weren't letting him get away with anything. I will say though, he did take some ownership for some things that he did wrong. He said he thinks a lot of his actions were a result of his childhood trauma, and it was like hurt people hurt people kind of thing. But for example, like there were human beings on the other side of your stories, and we have to call a spade a spade yeah. here. You said some Oh, pretty absolutely. hurtful things. And in your mindset, did you think maybe, oh, well, they know what they signed up for? That's one of the many talking points that I would tell my brain to program it oh. to justify my behavior. I was a drug addict, mm. and attention was my drug. Mm. I knew what I was doing was bad, and I kept doing it, and I kept being rewarded for it. The one thing Perez wasn't backing down on, though, was him allegedly outing a member of Fifth Harmony. According to Paper Magazine, the former Fifth Harmony member was outed back in 2016 after a photo of her and her girlfriend at the time was very innocently posted by her aunt, only to wind up in the hands of fans and amplified by the infamous gossip blogger Perez Hilton. Perez didn't feel like he outed her since the photo was already reposted by fans and he just reposted it himself. Now, this is where Gabby Hanna comes in. Before they brought Gabby Hanna out, they introduced her as somewhat of a victim to cancel culture. They said she's been involved in online feuds which have led to hate mobs trying to cancel her. They showed articles written about her and even an online petition asking to deplatform her. Our Gabby Hanna skyrocketed to fame in 2013 and has consistently made headlines for online feuds with other social media influencers. Those feuds have escalated to online mobs calling for Gabby to be canceled. Fans of her rivals have even started a petition similar to the one that led to Perez Hilton's TikTok ban. Gabby, who's also building her music career, says this has devastated her both personally and professionally. No matter what I say or do, it's just like everything I do is twisted. 
If you didn't know Gabby and didn't really follow any of her online drama, you'd probably go into this thinking Gabby is a victim and has never done anything wrong. As soon as Gabby came to the table, she was going full force for Perez Hilton. She was really mad over the whole Fifth Harmony thing and was just going off on him about that. She said unlike Perez, her content doesn't revolve around other people and she would never post anything like that. Which isn't fully the truth. Before Gabby deleted all of her content, all her top videos were about other people. She grew her channel by doing story times involving other people, and she posted a ton of videos about her drama with other people. Yeah, if you go to her channel now, all the top videos are music related, but that's only because she got rid of over a billion views across her entire channel. We all remember the videos talking about her psycho roommate and her classmate that passed away. Yeah, maybe you don't talk about YouTube drama and tea every day, but you do profit by telling sometimes personal stories about other people. But like I was saying, Gabby really came for Perez and it was super awkward to watch. She kept calling him a hypocrite and doing this really bizarre, condescending laugh. Like hearing you speak, it sounds like you have no idea what you're saying. You sound like such a hypocrite. <laughs> and personally, I thought it was a little bit fair because Gabby got away so easy compared to Perez. Perez came on and actually took some kind of accountability for his past. Gabby came on and was introduced as some victim. The host did a really great job of looking into Perez Hilton's past and bringing it up, but they were pretty silent about Gabby's past. Yes, Gabby has been subjected to cancel culture, but why? What did Gabby do to get those headlines written about her and that petition made about her? If you just watched this and had no idea who Gabby Hanna was, you'd probably think that she was a victim of cancel culture for absolutely no good reason. Eventually, you could tell Perez got tired of biting his tongue and he kind of went in on Gabby and her constant attacks towards him. From where I'm sitting, like hearing you speak, it sounds like you have no idea what you're saying. You, you sound like such a hypocrite. <laughs> you're still doing the thing that you got canceled for, but you know you don't have to say anything about anyone. Like you can just shut your mouth and that'd be cool too. <laughs> a lot of people could say the same thing about you. In fact, over the last few months, many people have come forward accusing you of very hurtful, toxic, cruel things. And people can do their own research. Thank God he said something because, oh my God, I couldn't believe they weren't going to bring up one thing from Gabby Hanna's past this entire episode. Gabby goes on to say that if people do their own research, they'll apparently find nothing. And if they do, which you'll see, there's nothing there. Actually, they'll find hundreds of videos and two of those videos being from Jessie Smiles herself. So I wouldn't exactly call that nothing. It's just crazy to see Gabby call Perez a hypocrite when you could also say the same thing for Gabby. In this video, she acts like she never starts drama and never talks about anyone when that really couldn't be further from the truth. Gabby claims she never gets into drama, it's the drama community that got into her, but fails to mention why they got into her. I never intentionally got into the drama community, the drama community got into me. <laughs> she fails to mention her Kenza Cosmetics scam that started all of this, the situation with Jesse Smiles, the back and forth with Trisha. It's been a known thing for years now that Gabby is always quiet and doing good on her own, and as soon as she has a new song or music video to promote, that's when she starts up the drama all over again. At least Perez sat there and admitted where he did go wrong with his online career. Gabby, on the other hand, is just still the victim in every situation. A lot of people can say the same thing about you. In fact, over the last few months, many people have come forward accusing you of very hurtful, toxic, cruel things. And people can do their own research. It just left a bad taste in a lot of people's mouth watching Gabby walk in and completely try to overpower and embarrass and scold Perez. Especially when she has her own past and her own mistakes. Now, Gabby did open up a little bit about how she got to where she is today. She said she never really fit in in real life, so she turned to the internet for those connections. She quickly got addicted to the numbers, whether it be follower growth or the number in her bank account. Perez actually had a really similar experience to Gabby. He also had a hard time fitting in when he was growing up, and once he found social media, he started to get addicted to the numbers. Gabby said she just really cared about what people thought about her, so whenever someone would think about her as one way, 
she would want to do everything in her power to prove them wrong. As for her drama, Gabby once again claims she lost record deals and opportunities because of cancel culture, which ultimately led her to releasing her series. After the episode aired, Perez Hilton actually posted a YouTube video reacting to the episode and he had something to say to Gabby. When I was back there, as I was really eager to hear what you had to say, and it feels like you can't take accountability at all from where I'm sitting. Like hearing you speak, it sounds like you have no idea what you're saying. You sound like such a hypocrite. You're still doing the thing that you got canceled for, but you know you don't have to say anything about anyone. Like you can just shut your mouth and that'd be cool too. <laughs> a lot of people. And I did, I did. First of all, she kept going after that. Um, you know, kudos to her. She, wanted a big moment and she got it. I just wish that Gloria and Emily and Lily were more familiar with Gabby Hanna and just knew more context because, you know, they had no idea. And they have producers on the show who prep them, but even the producers have no idea, right? The producers can do some research, but if they're not in that space and they don't know everything about Gabby Hanna or a lot, they're not going to be able to effectively communicate that to Gloria and Emily and Lily. But you know what? Good on you. Good on you. I am so disliked that maybe this will make Gabby Hanna likable. People will be rooting for Gabby Hanna now because she gave it to me. Since this episode went live, a lot of people are saying that Gabby is the one that sounded hypocritical, and surprisingly, Perez was the only one that at least took an ounce of accountability. Here's what people had to say. I love how you handled yourself when it came to Gabby. She's so full of shit. Everything she said about you is what everyone thinks of her. You have owned what you have done in the past. She's the one that can't take accountability. He's actually been very honest about how he's been to people. She was literally threatening to sue teenagers for talking about how she was scamming them. Unbelievable how she can accuse and be exactly as guilty, if not more, than the accused. It's a real stumper. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button because it really does help my channel, and I'll see you next time.